Welcome to Asana's AI Studio. In this video, we will introduce you to AI Studio. Then, we'll show you AI's capabilities, how to add AI to your workflow, and how to write effective instructions in AI Studio. Asana's AI Studio is a no-code builder that lets you embed AI agents directly into your team's workflows. With AI Studio, you can use AI to automate things like triaging new work requests or drafting content. Let's see how we can use AI Studio to transform a simple creative request into a published blog post. Intake can be standardized with a form, email, or other communication app. When someone submits a new request, AI automatically standardizes the task name and moves it to a quality check. Then, AI ensures all required information is in the request. When requests are deemed complete, AI generates a draft blog post. After a team member reviews, edits, and approves the draft, AI translates it into the languages requested in the form, and the blog post is ready for publication. This process has gone from hours of redundant manual work into an efficient and automated process. This is the power of Asana's AI Studio. Let's explore how it works and how to optimize your workflows with it. Access it through the customized menu in any project. AI Studio is built on Asana's existing rules framework. Rules have three components. A trigger that allows the rule to run, optional conditions that clarify the trigger or define different paths of action, and actions that specify what happens when those triggers and conditions are met. Choosing a trigger in AI Studio is no different to choosing a trigger in Asana's Rule Builder. You can apply AI to the condition of a rule using it to make intelligent choices about work. For example, a conditional check to verify whether a new creative request meets requirements. You can also apply AI to the actions of the rule. Draft a blog post, intelligently update custom fields, or add comments. In an AI-powered rule, you'll need to add instructions for AI, giving it the context it needs to make decisions or execute the actions you've defined. Make sure your instructions are clear and give AI context and examples of your desired output. You can even add attachments for AI to reference. Finally, determine the AI model you'd like to use and adjust data and permission settings accordingly. Then, name and publish your rule. As work moves through your workflow, you can always check the reasoning behind the decisions Asana AI makes. This request failed the QA check because it was missing crucial information about the due date. And while AI Studio has transformed this creative production workflow, there are still human-in-the-loop checkpoints throughout it. Even though Asana AI suggests the copy for a blog post, a team member is still in charge of reviewing and approving it. With AI Studio, you're not just automating tasks. You're empowering your team to focus on the strategic, creative work they do best. You're excited to add AI-powered automations to your workflows in Asana but how do you know what AI can actually do in your workflows? AI capabilities help you answer that question. The first three are ways that AI can help you analyze your work. That includes categorizing work, like using AI to update custom fields, pulling out relevant information, like using AI to update a task's title based on the description, or using an AI-powered rule that checks if work meets requirements. Let's see an example of an AI-powered rule that checks if work meets requirements. AI is applied in the condition of this rule and checks if newly submitted requests have enough information. And there are clear instructions on what makes a request complete. Within our project, we can see the rule assessing tasks for completeness, then categorizing them by sending them to the appropriate section. The second set of capabilities are ways that AI can help you create work. AI is capable of summarizing discussions, like adding a comment that summarizes task descriptions, creating new text content, 
like drafting a project brief based on information provided in a request form, or translating materials, using AI to create subtasks for each language requested. Here's a rule that translates existing content. AI is applied to the action of the rule to translate existing content to requested languages. And there are clear instructions on which languages to include and how to format the translation. When this task is moved to the translation section, AI begins generating translations and creates subtasks for each language requested. The last set of capabilities are ways that you can consult AI in the context of a workflow. Use AI to make recommendations, like generating a subtask for next steps. AI can conduct research, like carrying out a competitive analysis for a product launch, adding its findings to a task comment, or use AI to answer questions, like drafting suggested responses to customer questions based on provided documentation. Here's a rule where AI makes recommendations. AI is applied in the action and gives recommendations on how to handle an IT bug. And there's guidance on what to include and how to format recommendations. In our project, AI generates a subtask with its recommendation on next steps for the IT bug. To figure out where you can apply these capabilities to your workflows, start by mapping out your current process. Here's a process map for a creative production workflow. Then identify where AI capabilities could be applied to save your team time. After mapping your workflow, you'll build an AI-powered rule in Asana for each step you want to automate. Asana's AI Studio lets you embed AI directly into your team's workflows. You do this by adding AI to the conditions or actions of a rule creating AI-powered automations in your Asana projects. Just like standard rules, AI-powered rules have three components, a trigger that initiates the rule, conditions that clarify the trigger or define different paths of action, and actions that specify what happens when those triggers and conditions are met. You can apply AI to the conditions or actions of a rule, depending on what you want AI to do. And anytime you add AI to a rule, You'll give AI guidance to specify how it approaches the conditional checks or actions you've set up. This is known as prompting, adding AI to the condition of a rule. What we call a conditional check with AI adds intelligent decision-making to your workflow. With AI-powered conditions, you're no longer limited to simple black or white conditions available in a regular rule, like check if the request is overdue. AI can perform more open-ended conditional checks like check if the request has enough information. Let's see what that looks like in practice. In this quality check rule, we've created two conditional checks with AI, where AI evaluates incoming creative requests to see if they have enough information. AI can review the information in the task's description, comments, and attachments. Depending on its assessment, requests will be moved to the appropriate section. These conditions are open-ended, but they work because we will give AI clear guidance that includes relevant context and details, explaining the exact elements that need to be present for a request to have enough information. Now, let's look at AI-powered rule actions. Adding AI to a rule's actions determines how it will interact with tasks, projects, or team members. The way you'll do this is with a special variable called useAI. This lets AI know what part of the task or workflow you want it to take action on. Let's see an example. In this rule, we will use the useAI variable in our update custom field action. This will prompt AI to fill in the custom fields for priority and business impact based on the information in the task description. Then we'll give it clear guidance, including the relevant context and framework our team uses to prioritize requests so that it fills the custom fields accurately. There are lots of actions AI can take in your workflows. You might use AI to summarize a meeting transcript and add suggested action items as subtasks, draft a blog post or copy for social media posts in the description of a task, or add a comment to a task. 
asking relevant follow-up questions on incomplete work requests. For every AI-powered rule you create, you'll add instructions, also known as prompts, that help AI understand exactly what you need and how you want it done. Let's explore how to write effective prompts with AI Studio. Here's a rule that uses AI to rename work requests when they enter a project. This ensures requests stay organized and saves a team member from having to tediously rename them. We've set the trigger and applied AI in the action of the rule. Letting AI know the task title is where we want its input. Notice the instructions box is red and we're not able to publish the rule. We need to give AI instructions about how we want it to approach the action of setting the task title. There are four main guidelines for prompting in AI Studio. Prompts should include a sentence or two clarifying the job AI needs to do, context on who the audience is and what the work represents, details on how to do the job, like company-specific guidelines to follow or do's and don'ts, and examples of what good looks like. Here's a potential prompt for our rule. This prompt tells AI its job, and we've given some context about the audience dealing with the requests. With this information, AI would know it needs to rename requests for the PMO team, but it has no details on how to rename requests. For example, there may be company naming conventions AI should know about. Here's a better prompt. We tell AI its job, give it context on who it's doing that job for and what the tasks it's renaming represent. Then we get really clear and specific about how we want it to approach the task, giving clear naming guidelines to follow. After publishing the rule, we see a new request get submitted and enter the project. It's renamed, but the naming still isn't exactly right. AI added the project name to the end of the task title. For each decision AI makes, you can check its reasoning. It looks like AI wasn't clear about including the project name in the title and lacked clear examples of correctly named requests. We'll edit our instructions to AI, this time including some examples of what good looks like and providing explicit guidance about not using the project name. Then, test it out again. This time, the request is renamed appropriately. This highlights an important aspect of working with AI. Just like you might clarify instructions with a colleague, you can refine your prompts based on AI's output and reasoning. Remember, whether you're building rules to rename tasks, draft content, or analyze work, the principles of effective prompting remain the same. Clarify to AI the job it needs to do, give it context, provide details on how to do the job, and share examples of what good looks like. Once you master these fundamentals, you can apply them to any AI-powered rule or workflow with AI Studio. To learn more about incorporating AI into your workflows, head to the Asana Academy.